Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, you've got 23 days until May, and I'm going to help you succeed in your GCSEs. This lesson, sleep. Sleep is an essential part of our lives, and it's particularly crucial when it comes to learning. So even though it may seem counterintuitive to talk about improving your learning by going to sleep, it is very important, particularly at this point in your life. When you sleep, you're allowing your brain some recovery time. Remember, GCSEs are a competition, and I'm sure you wouldn't dream of going in for any other type of competition without allowing yourself some recovery time. So if you were going on the X Factor, you wouldn't be pushing your voice to breaking point every single day immediately before the performance. You'd want to give it some time to rest. If you were competing in an athletic event, you'd give your muscles time to rest and recover from any damage before you actually took part in that. It's exactly the same with your GCSEs. Your brain needs rest and it needs enough quality rest to be able to complete those GCSEs to the best of your ability. Both the NHS here in the UK and the National Sleep Foundation in the US recommend around 9 hours sleep per night for someone of the age of about 15 to 16. That is the amount of time it's going to take your brain to be properly rested. So you need to make sure when you're figuring out what time you're going to be revising, you need to make sure that you're stopping early enough that you're going to be able to get that full 9 hours of quality sleep. There's going to be some variation from that, from person to person of course, but if you're getting six, seven hours sleep a night, you're really not getting enough and you're going to harm your own chances in those GCSEs. So figure out what time you need to go to sleep in order to be able to get nine hours in before your usual wake up time. Count backwards from your usual wake up time for nine hours and make sure that when you reach that time, you are getting into bed ready to go to sleep. That is really crucially important. There are a few healthy ways which you can improve the quality of sleep which you get and how quickly you get to sleep as well. Firstly, avoid things which are very stimulating, watching movies, watching TV, and particularly playing video games immediately before you go to bed. These can all seriously interfere with how well your brain is able to actually relax again. I know from personal experience, if I've played a video game and I've been very engrossed in it, my brain can't stop thinking about that. So make sure you give a couple of hours of time after you finish playing those before you need to go to sleep. Otherwise, it's really going to interfere with how well you're able to get to sleep. Having a little bit of food to eat for supper is absolutely fine, but having a large amount of food to eat can be a real problem, particularly if it's something very sugary. That sugar is going to hit your bloodstream and it's going to leave you feeling like you've got a lot of energy just at the point where you need to be relaxing and slowing down. So avoid very sugary things. The same goes for drinks, avoid sugar and avoid caffeine. Setting a regular time to go to sleep and getting your body into a rhythm will also help. After a few days you'll get used to it. You'll have holiday time for Easter and it can be tempting to stay up later and later, but you'll find it easier to organise your days on holiday and easier to handle the workload of your school timetable and the additional revision you'll be doing if you get into healthy sleep habits now. Also make sure to turn off devices like your phone, tablet or computer. Don't have them sat next to you giving you notifications and alerts as you're trying to go to sleep. I know it can be tempting, but you're going to have to be really strict with yourself and make sure you turn all those devices off. A lot of people find soothing audio tracks can really help them get to sleep quickly as well. There's a large amount of these available for free on YouTube, so have a look around. If you're looking for things like whale song or you're looking for things like meditation tracks, or a lot of people find ASMR tracks, and there's a huge number of those on YouTube now. A lot of people find those really useful. Have a look around, see what works for you. It varies from person to person, but I'm sure there's going to be something out there which you'll find useful. Finally, you've got a lot on your plate, but do try and fit in a little bit of regular exercise every now and again. That's really going to help your body relax as well. Try and be getting around half an hour of light exercise at least per day. And I'm going to talk more about exercise in one of the later videos in this series. I hope that video really helped you. If it did, it really helps my channel when you like, subscribe and share these videos. Let people know I'm going to succeed in my GCSE. All the links and info for this video are in the description and please let me know what you thought in the comments or on Twitter at MrThorntonUK or use the hashtag SucceedInMyGCSE. 
There are loads more GCSE science videos on my channel too. Here's another one which YouTube thinks you might find useful. You can click my picture just here to subscribe, click down there to check how well you understood with the Snap Quiz website and app, and you can click just here to get my revision guides. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.